request Sri Anil Rishal Singh to all the participants. Over. To oh. Okay. Thank you. Um, before I start, I want to wish everybody a happy Gorda Puja. Yeah. I hope I hope I pronounced that pre properly. Yes. So. It's okay. Wonderful. Thank you. So. Um, you will have to forgive me if I do not pronounce everything perfectly, but anyhow, uh, to introduce our uh, presenter today, Mr. Anil Rishal Singh. He was born in uh, 1954, graduated from Lucknow Christian College in 1974, and completed his post-graduation from Lucknow University in 1976 and then a, uh, received a diploma in photography from the Institute of Science and Technology in Mumbai. Among his uh, qualifications, I suppose the most important one is the uh, MFIP, a Master FIAP. It is presented to uh, very few photographers every year. So to achieve the MFIAP is quite an achievement uh, conferred to uh, Anil um, in 2009 from uh, the international uh, body of, of uh, FIAP, International de la Art Photographique, in, uh, based in, uh, it used to be based in Paris, and it's for a submission of 20 images. Uh, along with the MFIP, and probably the, the, the next most important would be the uh, Associate of the Royal Photographic Society in uh, the UK. Um, again, on the presentation of 15 images. And, and, and Il has ach achieved that. Um, together with those, probably the most important, I hope you agree, Anil, um, he yeah. is also, also the holder of... Uh, some 13 honorary fellowships based mainly in India, but also in the United States and uh, Cyprus. He is widely traveled and has exhibited his photographic images throughout the world and has worked in personal and institutional collections at home and abroad. Some of the achievements he is the ex-president of the Federation of Indian Photography, uh, and that is the premier national body of photography in India. He is the retired head of the photo division of the National Research Laboratory for the Conservation of Cultural Property, uh, Ministry of Culture, Government of India, Lucknow. He is president of Lucknow Camera Club in India, uh, and that is one of the oldest uh, societies. I think it's 40 years old. Um, presently, he's appointed as the expertif by uh, Nikon in India. And of course, he is now the chief advisor for Danbad Camera Club, probably the most important job. Yes, <clears throat> yes, yes. In... Uh, in uh, Anil's uh, journey through photography, he has uh, won uh, in excess of 250 national and international awards, has had more than 1,500, so 1,500 acceptances in national and international salons of photography. And he has had about 500 photographs published in various national and international magazines, periodicals, and newspapers. Some of the notable awards he has achieved. The National Award of Photography Ministry of Information and Broadcasting from the Government of India in 2011. Uh, a UNESCO Award in 2009. The Kodak Excellence Award. A Sony World Photography Award in 2007. Uh, the Venice International Photography Award 2008. Um, the Nikon BP Photographer of the Year in 2005, uh, All India Fine Arts and Craft Society uh, New Delhi uh, in 2018, and the Senior Fellowship by CCRT, Ministry of Culture, Government of India in 2018. 
the list goes on. Um, so Anil has had some solo and group exhibitions, um, many shows uh, in, in India, totaling uh, somewhere in excess of 20. Uh, two solo exhibitions in Atlanta, USA, and a group exhibition at Palace de Festival, Cannes in France. He's received the Charles Wallace Professional Grant to visit uh, photographic collections in different museums in the UK in 1999. In international awards, uh, some uh, of note, an honorary fellowship of the Federation of the Indian, Indian Photographer, uh, honorary FIP, conferred in 2012. Uh, a fellowship of the I Image College Society of America, uh, honorary FICS in 2016. Um, honorary fellowship of the Photographic Society of New Jersey. And many, many, as I said before, many honorary fellowships uh, by different institutions, clubs, and societies, uh, exceeding some 13 honorary uh, fellowships. His teaching experience, he has more than 40, 35 years teaching photography at different levels uh, and different institutes and organizations. He's been the guest lecturer, examiner, and paper setter for various in Indian universities. He has uh, participated in teaching and guiding photography students, trainees, and research uh, scholars. He's planned and put many photographic exhibitions uh, to generate awareness about the importance of cultural heritage and conservation of our national heritage. He has written some nine research papers presented and has had them published in international conferences. Uh, many articles on photography have been published in various magazines and newspapers. Um, as editor for six years uh, of a viewfinder uh, of the Federation of Indian Photography, the only premier body or the, the only premier body of photography in the country. Um, he has served as jury member and chairman of the jury of the National Photography Awards and Lifetime Achievement Award by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting uh, Government Organization in the year 2015. And he's been a jury member uh, on several national and international salons of photography. So for the past 45 years, Anil has been exploring the uh, creative and uh, create, sorry, possibilities of the, the medium of photography and has gained tremendous satisfaction and incredible happiness working with this magni magnificent uh, medium. And today, Anil presents his architectural photography. So without further delay, let us meet the master. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you so very much. My friend, Bren, for no celebrated introduction. Thank you so very much. Okay. So friends, uh, to make the session more interactive, uh, I will interact with our guest, Sri Anil Vishal Singh, uh, by putting only a few questions, which is very common questions, but uh, especially it is meant for him only. Sir, you started photography 45 years back. Yes, Mukherjee. But how you switched over to this unique genre of photography named form and textures? Uh, friends, uh, when I started photography about uh, more than 45 years old, I was doing every genre of photography as uh, people used to do. But after uh, about two years, uh, I felt that I am more interested in landscape photography. And I did landscape photography, uh, especially black and white landscape photography for about 45 years. And after, and I was loving it. I do photography because when I am able to make a good photographic image, I feel tremendous joy and happiness within myself. This is the most important and primary thing. I do photography. 
recognitions, name and fame, awards. These are all very secondary things. So I was loving doing landscape photography. But after doing landscape photography for such a long time, uh, there was a, a shift in my interest. And I asked, I questioned myself that if I am making a beautiful landscape image out of the beautiful landscape scene in front of me or in front of my camera, what so very special I have done. It is already beautiful. I may have added uh, some more beauty by some imagination and photographic process. It's fine, but that is already beautiful. So I have done nothing very, very special. And then I started and looking and striving for the most common things to photograph in a way that it may look uh, extraordinary or uncommon. And from here, a new journey uh, I have started, and that is the journey of my study of form and color. And again, I, I would like to say, friends, that I am enjoying, enjoying exploring the world of color and form. So that is the most important thing. I enjoy doing black and white landscape photography for a very, very, very long time. Then there was some disinterest and there was a change in my perception. And these days, about, about 10 years or so, or more than 10 years, I am just exploring the theme form and color. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, especially uh, your vision, the way you visualize a frame, you go very close to the frame and then you find out different forms and textures. It's really remarkable, sir. I remember when we, you, you came to Dhanabad uh, in 2018, we had been to a scrapyard and the way you uh, brought out a frame with forms and textures it is remarkable and we will see uh, after some time. Uh, second uh, question, sir. You were appointed chairman of uh, jury members by Films Division Government of India in 2015. Most yes. of the photographers present here, they always aspire to get a national award on this platform. Uh, one of them uh, already has got the national award is Akhil Hardia. He is among us here. Uh, I, I'm uh, 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 one of them also who got national award. And a lot of people are aspiring. So can you guide us uh, how to prepare our photo story to compete for national awards? It's, uh, I, I, I feel, friends, it's a, it's a great initiative by Government of India to start this national award and lifetime achievement award in the field of photography a few years back. And uh, being a, this award is uh, from the government of India, they used to uh, give certain themes, except the lifetime achievement award. For lifetime achievement award, they uh, used to see and examine the lifetime work of a photographer and then the committee uh, decide uh, the appointed committee decide but for there is a national award for uh, uh, professional category and national award for amateur category and they used to give a theme a particular theme so to uh, uh, make a portfolio out of that particular theme is sometimes very tricky we all know uh, a portfolio, the, each and every picture of a portfolio should have a very close connectivity uh, amongst uh, these images. But at the same time, they, these images should not be very similar. Uh, this is very, very important. Uh, so uh, it's very difficult to describe uh, what, what should be in the portfolio because on given theme, uh, it may be uh, different. So uh, two points I would like to uh, mention over here that a close connectivity in each of the images of the portfolio and these images should not be very similar. These two uh, things are very, very important when uh, anybody make or submit a portfolio. 
thank you <laughs> thank you very much sir uh, making us very clear about how to prepare the uh, set of images uh, for national awards and now uh, uh, i would like to uh, share my screen uh, because uh, let me tell friends my screen is visible to all yes yes yep yeah uh, dhanbad camera club is so fortunate to have the man of this stature in our city three times in past the very first time he came in 1992 when dhanbad has a very old club named dhanbad photography associations and uh, during international salon of that uh, uh, club he was a jury member i tried a lot to find out any images of his of 1992 but uh, unfortunately i could not get it that was the film age so uh, uh, um, nobody could uh, find out the images of that old era again in 2018 Uh, he had tick schedule with us uh, he was chief guest of our dhanbad camera club world photographic day he was a jury member also for dcc national photo contest and he was also invited uh, to present his seminar at iit dhanbad again we were fortunate enough to see him here in 2019 very recent and he was the <clears throat> jury member for jcm international salon at dhanbad camera club chapter so let us see some images let us uh, see the memory of 2018 he is our guest today anil risal singh sir in the background you are seeing the photo exhibited during the a uh, world uh, photographic day uh, with other members uh, salivahan sirvasto the uh, extreme left is the president of uh, uh, photo freak photo club of iit dhanbad uh, the moment he was invited to deliver his lecture gopesh kumar the head of photography uh, of uh, iit dhanbad he is welcoming our guest anil risal giving his delivering his lecture just a minute yes this is the group photograph and this is very unique for us because all the members of dhanbad camera club are here along with the members of photo freak this is uh, as a chief guest he is presenting the certificate to one of the winner extreme right is pk sarkar our director general of dgms i think this is the photograph uh, during uh, judging session and in this dcc national photo contest only one member of dhanbad camera club got award and she is subarna banerjee and this is her photograph this is a wonderful image captured by one of our uh, dcc ex member uh, sanjay das uh, this was a location where we went uh, for photo walk uh, that is uh, dhobi ghat very nearby maithan this is a group photograph at dhobi ghat just a minute let me admit 
Okay. And now he's catching the train. It was a very uh, heartening moment for ev every one of us and saying goodbye and leaving for Lucknow. Then comes 2019 when he was a jury member of JCM <coughs> Photography Society's International Salon at uh, Dhanbad Camera Club chapter. This is during judging, judging. Uh, along with him, Amitabh Silsar is here as one of the jury member. Our club member, Dipankar Banerjee, he is showing the paints to all the jury members. Our very senior photographer from Dhanbad, Sri James Singh, uh, I think he has started that Dhanbad Photographic Association in uh, 1991. This is, we went for a photo walk at Top Chachi, almost 30 kilometers from Dhanbad during that time. Uh, in this group photograph, you are seeing one old tree. In Top Chachi, we will have plenty of old trees, I think maybe in few hundreds. So, Anil Rishal Singh, sir, we were capturing landscapes and he captured a lot of forms and textures out of those old trees. This is a very interesting picture for us. And, and this is a very learning, learning frame. Ki this is the scrap yard in Dhanbad, very close to my house, maybe around one kilometer from here. And he's just visualizing with the help of mobile, not, not uh, even with the camera, with the mobile. And mobile also can capture such a wonderful form and texture, you will be surprised to see. So this is the initiative and this is the result. This is the result, this is the frame he visualized and he captured with the mobile, not even with the camera. So uh, this is how he, he proves that uh, camera is not important. The most important is how you visualize a frame. And seeing his long association, not only as a photographer, but very, uh, I can say very warmly and very heartily, he associated with us. And he always guides us. We, we always uh, ask him, sir, what to do, how to do it. So one day we thought, okay, let us start something new in the Dhanbad Camera Club. And we appointed him chief advisor just a month back. Along with him, we also appointed Brian Hopper as advisor to the Dhanbad Camera Club. As Brian Hopper narrated about the, his MPF achievement, I think in 2009 he achieved MPF. So uh, if you see his set of 20 images, definitely it will give us wonderful inspiration. Because most of us are also aspirant for MPF. This is the picture number one. Next.
this is the complete <coughs> set of 20 images now uh, we will see some uh, memories of uh, uh, fourth national photography award ceremony held in 2015 when our uh, guest Anil Rishal Singh was the chairman of jury committee uh, you can see here our <coughs> very uh, regarded Shivji Joshi sir he was also a jury member and she is uh, Ritika Rama Swami, wildlife photographer. She was also a jury member. He is Sanjeev Misra, the head of the photo division. Uh, he too was a, a jury member. This is another frame. She is Rolly Verma, she is the director in charge of uh, Films Division. Uh, he is Bimal Julta, Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, who is welcoming Sri Anil Rishal Singh as Chairman of the Jury Members. Uh, in the center, you are seeing this very senior uh, photographer. He is Surinder R. Patel from Gujarat. Uh, he was um, uh, honored with uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. In the... Uh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. In the second line, you are seeing Anil... Uh, Akhil Hadi Aji, who got the national award Rawat Ji from Indore again. Please, I think during the Yeah, Madam Rolly Barma welcoming him uh, with a bouquet of flowers. Again, uh, Bimal Zulta, Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Indeed, it was a great moment, not only for you, sir. It is a great moment for photographers of our country. Sir, you can, uh, over to you, you can share your screen, sir. Uh, Mukherjee, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for uh, uh, making such an interesting visual treat of my visit of Dhanwad, my MFF images, and as a chairman of jury for National Award. Uh, you must have worked very hard compiling these pictures in a sequence. So, great job. Thank you so very much. Uh, hi, friends. Namaskar. First of all, I would like to give my wishes on the occasion, auspicious occasion of me. So, so it's a very auspicious day. Uh, my best wishes. And uh, I would like to thank Dhanbad Camera Club for giving me this opportunity interaction with you. Uh, I hope uh, give me permission to uh, uh, share my screen. Sir, you can share your screen, sir. No, it is, it is not given. Wait, wait, sir. Wait, wait. Now you try, sir. Okay. Yes, now, now it is there. <clears throat> So, my topic uh, of today's uh, deliberation is architectural photography. 
it's a little uh, technical subject but uh, i tried to make it little interesting let's see how you find it uh, what is the architecture photography uh, a definition may be architectural photography is the photographing of buildings and monuments and similar structures that are both aesthetically pleasing and accurate representation of their subject that is the architectural photography uh, it is very interesting the world's first photograph uh, was a architectural photograph uh, here you can see view from the window uh, joseph nasifor nierse uh, it was the first permanent uh, photograph of the world and the first architectural photograph you can say at uh, uh, that time the term photography was not uh, in use and nasifor nierse termed is the heliograph so it is very interesting that the very first photograph permanent photograph of the world was the architectural uh, photograph so we may imagine how how important architectural photography is and second uh, the first image by uh, louis jacques monde de gure uh, you can see the image on the left hand side again this is the architectural photo photograph uh, depicting a building so these things are very very important uh, i feel when we talk about the architectural photography another interesting uh, thing the the first photograph having the human element in it you can see here a very tiny human element these are two human elements that is also depicting some buildings and again it's a architectural photograph so from the very beginning this architectural photography is having the great importance another uh william henry fox talbot a uh, englishman uh the early architectural style photograph this photograph uh, he made in 1847 and uh, the interesting thing is that uh, uh, william henry fox talbot uh, uh, the concept of negative and positive he gave to the wall and uh, he used uh, to make his photographic images a paper coated with a silver iodide a silver halide and the camera he used uh, we may have encountered such type of the cameras uh, in our rto offices and passport office where uh, we used to uh, have the instant photographs so this whole process was in introduced by william henry fox Tal talbot a great great contribution uh, in photography and this is the architectural photograph produced by william henry fox talbot architectural photography throughout the history of photography buildings have been highly valued photographic subjects yes it is indeed mirroring society's appreciation for architecture and its cultural significance uh, our buildings and monuments uh, denote our cultural significance indeed by the 1860s architectural photography started to become an established visual media architectural photography typically shows either the exterior of or the interior of the building of or monument the techniques used in each of these types of photography are similar but do have some difference and sometimes require different equipment excuse uh exterior architectural photography usually takes advantage of the available light by sun we all know or at night it uses ambient light from adjacent street lights landscape lights exterior buildings lights moonlights and even two lights present in the sky and uh, this is an architectural photograph of the mosque inside the bada imam bada at lucknow a natural light ambient light or the sunlight and that too coming a directional light is here it is it is a fact that photography is a two dimensional medium we have length and uh, breadth but width we have length and width we have we don't have 
a third dimension that third dimension will have to produce by the appropriate use of the light the depth so when we have the appropriate light here a directional light a angular light it is producing the third dimension the depth so that is very important when we talk about architectural photography another picture uh, this picture was taken at the right time it's a uh, 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 skyline having the multi story building of the singapore and it was taken then when there was a twilight in the sky after about 5 minutes it was all dark so one should be able to take such photograph when there is a twilight in the sky to to have more interesting uh, architectural photography at the night so some example of that i'll show you with you uh, the the secondary interest the reflection of the buildings and the lights in the water that is adding to that and again uh, the sky is having that little spark of light which may fade out within few minutes time so one should be able to take a photograph the another picture here uh, the color harmony is very important and having a a boat in the foreground it is giving uh, some more interest and dimension to the picture and little streaks of the reflections of the light of the buildings it is also adding now this is a, a small depi depiction of the taj mahal the great monument taj mahal the monument of love we all know it was taken late sunset time uh, we know at the late sunset type uh, time there is a warm uh, tone in the sky and uh, although the main building uh, taj mahal is in, in the silhouette but even seeing the silhouette we can very very much say that uh, this is the famous taj mahal monument and uh, this red color red color denotes love every color has got its own meaning and red color denotes love and as i said taj mahal is the monument of love so such type of uh, uh, symbolic images uh, we should always try to make while doing the architectural photography exterior the photo photographer will often include flowers trees fountains or statues in the foreground of a composition taking advantage of their ability to help lead the eye into the composition and to its main subject the building or the monument and this is the example this is the famous khajuraho temple temple of the khajuraho group of temples and uh, when i was there uh, i saw uh, these white flowers and i tried to compose this picture in such a way that this uh, uh, bed of flowers may work as a virtual uh, leading line to the main structure of the monument so such types of including such type of things uh, mostly in the foreground may help to make uh, architectural photography uh, more interesting another picture uh, at the backdrop you can see the big band and this uh, uh, bronze sculpture of the fountain uh, it it looked me very it an incident a bird i think it's a seagull is sitting at the just in the center of that uh, bronze uh, sculpture and uh, so such types of the element when you add in the foreground can make your architectural photograph more interesting and valuable another picture this is the char minar or hyderabad and uh, i intentionally added this dark toned minaret of nearby mosque and a burqa clad uh, woman uh, in the foreground so including such types uh, of the elements in architectural photography also help a lot another picture this is the nizam palace hyderabad uh i'm showing this video uh, to 
are important historical monuments in, in such a way that uh, it may have a visual uh, interest for the viewers. And this may be, uh, in this, through this arch, you may see another building, a part of the palace. So such type of uh, the framing may, may also help in while taking the architectural images. Uh, this is the very interesting, the Vijayanagaram Empire, the Hampi, the great archaeological site, Hampi. And again, the angular light making this picture very much interesting. These are the ruins of the great empire, uh, a part of uh, a building, stone building. And uh, at the backdrop, uh, is, uh, all the buildings are made of uh, this uh, granite stone. And at the backdrop, you can see the granite boulders. Uh, these uh, religious uh, buildings, uh, mandirs and mosques, they also have a very interesting architecture. This is a church from an ancient church showing the ancient architecture of the church from the Arku Valley in Andhra Pradesh. Another, this is the modern church, a uh, minaret. Uh, with the minaret, there is a, uh, a bunch of white clouds. It may, it may denote uh, the supreme power, uh, if you wish to relate. And at the top, you may see the Holy Cross. So uh, this is the modern church of the Matra, uh, a town in the Uttar Pradesh, uh, my state. And this is the Sun Temple, Modera, Gujarat. What a beautiful carvings and the sculptures uh, in this uh, Sun Temple. It's, it's, a, it's a delight for every photographer to visit over there. And just have uh, this religious man, we call it a sadhu, a saint, at the coming out uh, from, uh, from the temple. It is adding uh, a beauty to this architectural uh, picture. So we should always try to include such type of the elements in our, our architectural images. And the picture, this is the mosque, a famous mosque. Uh, we call it the Tilewali Masjid, Lucknow. It's my very old pictures. And at the foreground, you may see these, these steps, the highlighted steps. You, you may make a story. These are the steps uh, going to the mosque or near to the God. So uh, such, such type of the elements, you can relate with different stories in the, even in the uh, architectural images. So these religious uh, uh, buildings are always have a very interesting architectural interest. In many cases, the landscaping surroundings of a building and presence of the native people are important to the overall composition of photograph and even necessary to communicate the aesthetic harmony of a building with its environment. Very true. Uh, this is a picture, a rock memorial down south. Again, it's a morning time, angular, soft light. And uh, I waited and waited. Skyline is also having very interesting uh, cloud formation and uh, color variation. But I framed my picture, but I waited and waited. Uh, a native fisherman's boat went, came at the appropriate place where I wanted to have, which uh, three, four human figures, these are the fishermen's. Of course, it is in silhouette. So including such elements may create uh, a much interest in architectural uh, uh, photography. Uh, Mukesh ji, uh, somebody wants to admit. Uh, I think uh, nobody is waiting. Oh. Nobody is waiting outside. Okay, okay. So this is from Rock Memorial, the famous Rock Memorial, or we say Vivekanand Memorial at Kanyakumari. What happened? Yes. Again, uh, at the backdrop, you can see the Tilewali Masjid of Lucknow. This is a view from the Bada Imam Bada. And purposely, 
uh, in the foreground the part of the arch which is having a beautiful uh, carving and works uh, intentionally added another picture this is the modern structure lotus temple at new delhi and uh, a very interesting uh, ge geometric formation you can say which uh, was portrayed in uh, intentionally in monochrome uh, and a tiny figure in the silhet on the left hand corner uh, is intentionally placed over there Uh, this is again my old photograph of the jantar mantar of jaipur and uh, in our wide angle uh, lenses are always very handy uh, of course we we may encounter uh, this the converging of the verticals while, while using the wide angle lens but sometimes it also add to the beauty uh, this is the good example of that and uh, this uh, count a uh, brick uh, plaster structure of jantar mantar having very interesting uh, forms and the sky also having the very interesting formation of the clouds in the background this is the modern high rise multi story building and uh, very interesting sort of architecture you can see from the foreground to the background or the skyline in the forms of scattered interesting formation of the cloud so uh, there is some uh, <clears throat> uh this is this is a exterior of a jain temple at kolkata and this curvature curvatures are always always uh, beautiful uh, curved lines uh, denotes the human uh, beauty or especially the feminine beauty and so this picture is having uh, two curves one at the top of the shadow and uh, one of this uh, uh, broken picture of a fountain of Uh, uh at the outer side of the jain temple so uh, we should always try to look at or frame our pictures uh, architectural images in a different way it will make it may it make it more interesting and worthy and the picture this is the outer of the universal studios and as mukesh ji in the beginning said that these days i am working with form and color so this is uh, one of my picture under the form and very interesting formation is there and again but it is a architectural photograph the exterior of the modern building sometimes i intentionally add human elements in my architectural pictures it gives a scale of course and 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 creates human interest so i'll be sharing some of my pictures where we are having the it, human presence of human elements which were added intentionally this is the sanchi stupa akil ji from your state this monument is a uh, world famous sanchi stupa yeah. and this man uh, added in uh, here in this picture intentionally just to uh, have some human interest and just Uh, to have a idea of uh, size of this building we may we may presume the uh, height of the uh, generally the indian man about 5 and a half feet so we can correlate uh, uh, with the structure and we may imagine uh, what may be the size of this building so uh, another picture of the haveli of jaisalmer uh these two beautiful ladies with uh, beautiful uh, clothing uh, they are making this architectural image more interesting more lively so such types of the element always try to include in our architectural photography and we can see here the the beautiful engraving of uh, red sandstone uh, this haveli is made of 
another picture this is the picture from my hometown lucknow view of bada imam bada from the ruby gate this this ruby gate a part of the ruby gate i used for framing this picture this is the winter picture when there there was a mist in the atmosphere and mist is always a pictorial element and it 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 gives beauty it provides beauty to our picture so this was the morning winter time and uh, these two men were doing their job proving the surface over there and at the backdrop one may one may see the entrance of the bada imam bada the historical monument represents lucknow or awadh don't be afraid to include people yes indeed why not architecture doesn't doesn't exist without people without us architecture doesn't and wouldn't exist without us don't shy away for recording our presence indeed it is true another uh, famous mosque which is called the badi masjid at lucknow a beautiful morning soft angular light with a human figure in the foreground this is the bhuj palace from gujarat and uh, inclusion of the beautiful lady is increasing the beauty of this architectural picture the beautiful arches are there and the presence of a lady increasing the beauty of this visual that is the architectural image this is from rajasthan jaipur amer fort in the foreground this is the part of the wall stone weathered wall it is showing the beautiful texture weather texture and this is the beauty of this picture another uh, uh, brick uh, structure where uh, probably a guy having the very striking red and black cloth and at the backdrop a beautiful blue sky this is these are the elements and these elements making this architectural picture a worthy to look at another picture this is again a, a exterior of the universe uh, universal studio and uh, i requested my daughter to go and uh, stand at that particular place i usually don't do this i don't ask people to go there and uh, sit there and stand there to make my picture but sometimes and this is the exception of that and the picture uh, don't be afraid to include people yes presence of people also provides scale to building or monument i have already said it also gives the human touch to the photograph this is again uh, the exterior of the universal studio and i waited and waited to have some hum human element and this man with the white shirt i prefer the white shirt because it is giving dimension uh, to this visual and this white shirt is having very interesting uh, details in it so here the human figure is adding to this architectural image this is from the jantar mantar the stairs the highlighted and the darker uh, portions in repetition uh, it is making a very interesting pattern and at the top of that a uh, child with a striking colored cloth and the cap so we should always uh, search of such elements to make our architectural images more interesting and another picture it is again very interesting this is having this diagonal uh, lines zigzag lines and this lady in this big art and uh, having some mild action uh his pink cloth is also going very well with the color and the texture of this part of the mon monument so the sample the again having a very uh, interesting pattern this highlighted and uh, uh shadow repeated uh, uh portion it is ma making very interesting pattern and these diagonal lines are the connecting lines diagonal lines always uh, denotes action uh, uh, and movement so this this man is uh, movements so these all things are uh, going very well interiors 
Interior architectural photography can also be performed with ambient light transmitted through the windows and skylights, as well as the interior lighting fixtures. The, in interior, also inclusion of the human form always make it more interesting. This is the picture of the Glasgow Museum in Scotland. I I still remember I uh, this 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 was the magnificent uh, structure building structure, I framed uh, my picture, but I felt that at the lower uh, right hand side, this is little, some emptiness is there, and there should be some interesting element, and I waited and waited, and to my fortune, uh, to my good luck, a lady with a red coat and a gentleman moved into my picture, and at that particular time, I pressed my shutter release button, and that this picture was taken. So sometimes we'll have to wait for making a good picture. This is a good example of that, I think. Another picture, this is the Tom at, at Hyderabad. And here again, I asked my friend to go and stand over there because from this, uh, that was a sort of door uh, opening. Lot of light was uh, coming from there and all is making chalky white on that area. So I asked my friend to go over there. So human presence is uh, making some human interest. And at the same time, it is uh, uh, stopping the unwanted excess light coming from that area. Uh, this is the exterior and interior of the South Indian typical house taken at uh, outer skirt of the Chennai, the artist village there. Again, this is the modern structure, uh, a zigzag uh, curved uh, lines you can see over here and very striking uh, red color at the railing of the stairs. So uh, I'm, sh uh, I'm sharing this uh, visual uh, at the very common elements. We, we may come up with the interesting pictures. We should always look out uh, uh, to discover these elements, to discover these unseen uh, pictures scattered around us. Another picture are uh, uh, modern constructed uh, uh, structure and this two chairs, red chairs, is a center of interest over there and uh, making it very interesting region. Another picture, a modern uh, architectural picture with a lot of interesting shadows are there. And again, in this picture, I waited and waited because when this lady with the red kurta and pajama entered into my frame, I took this picture. And this his uh, dress, red colored dress is going very well with the color, red color of the this uh, dual railing also. So the combination of such interesting elements uh, may make your picture more worthy. Here, this is again uh, uh, my favorite place, Lotus Temple. And uh, a very interesting thing, this monument in this modern age is being cleaned manually. You can see a human at the top of uh, this huge monument and uh, this monument uh, being cleaned manually. And, uh, it is having very interesting vertical lines and diagonal lines. Interiors, supplemental lighting or reflectors to improve the illumination within a building can be used. Either electronic flash, you can say, or incandescent hot lights can also be used for the interior of an architectural photography. This, this, this image was taken uh, at a Lucknow mall. Whenever I we go for the shopping there, take a compact camera with me and uh, try to make some images. And during such visit of a mall, this image was made where the reflected lights and some interior lights, incandescent lights or the fluorescent lights uh, illuminating the place. And this picture was made. An interesting, interesting visual. Another picture of uh, the same mall, it was made at another visit. So pictures can be made, I believe pictures can be made anywhere and everywhere, anytime and every time.
this is my philosophy very very ordinary subject some stairs and the staircases and some uh, a portion of a building so i always uh, for my uh, the present theme on which i am working form and color i uh, i always try to portray the most ordinary thing in the extraordinary way uh, this is what i am striving for advantages of the architectural photography are great it allows people to obtain a visual understanding of a building they may never get the opportunity to visit in their lifetime this is the greatest advantage photography may make us to see the beauty or virtually visit any particular place or it may be a monument or a building which may not be able in actuality we not be able to visit this is the greatest strength of photography friends creating a valuable resource that allows us to expand our architectural photography this is the tower bridge london and uh, intentionally i included this bronze beautiful bronze sculpture of the dolphin and the lady uh, in the right hand side of the foreground so we should always incorporate such interesting elements in our architectural photography another picture is the windsor castle and it was that day it was raining and raining and raining and it is said and very rightly said that the best is within the worst after raining for half an hour a beautiful soft light was there and this picture was made of the windsor castle and this little girl of a family going far ahead uh, of this family and uh, it reminds me uh, of the phrase that a child is father of father of man this is again a beautiful uh, a temple of at khajrao khajrao is the group of temples various temples are there beautiful engravings beautiful and here in this foreground this lawn and the hedge is purposely added into this visual if you remove this foreground hedge and the lawn this picture may be little flat so we should all always take care of to include such type of elements in our architectural photography uh, a, a, a common thing but very important i would like to share about photography photography is mainly being practiced in two ways medium of documentation and medium of fine art or medium for our creative expression when photography a medium of documentation it gives information about things person place situation or or a state photography as a medium of documentation when we are using photography as a medium of documentation we should always remember it captures the authentic reality it provides authentic information shows reality nothing but reality when we are using photography as a medium of documentation nothing is allowed to be added and nothing is allowed to be removed always remember friends and categories come under the documentation photojournalism of course nature and wildlife photography travel photography scientific photography sports photography and of course architectural photography etc these things comes under the documentation so we cannot make any change we cannot remove anything and we cannot add anything into our original picture we should always remember that and i would like to have some examples this is the photojournalism uh, uh, earthquake uh, in bihar uh, taken by prashant panjiar in 1988 as it is the photojournalism image nothing is allowed to be added and nothing is allowed to be removed it should so show the situation as it was another picture nature wildlife this is the uh, uh, white bear uh, nature study it should depict the reality nothing is allowed to be added and nothing is allowed to be removed another picture of the bird study again the same uh, parameter applies over here this is the insect you cannot change anything it should show the image as it was in the actual condition or the site 
this is the travel picture in travel uh, photography again we cannot make any change it should show the authentic reality and this is the scientific photography indeed we cannot change or alter anything while we are doing scientific photography because when we are doing scientific photography we are using photography as a documentary media this is the sports photography here again we cannot change anything friends architectural photography in principle in architectural photography we we may not we cannot change anything but in the later part of my 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 presentation i i'll try to break the rule and i'll be sharing some of my perception and and works uh, in that when i am breaking this 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 rule photography is a medium of fine art creative expression photography is not only the powerful medium of recording and documentation it is also a unique and creative medium of self expression besides besides being one of the youngest fine art today when we are using photography as a medium of fine art we can make any sort of change under the sky we can we can with the help by the photographic process by the software by our uh, imagination we can make any sort of change there is no foundation it is it is very clearly said when we are talking about art and aesthetics uh, there is no limitation limitation uh, out of our imagination we can change we can create our images using the medium of photography this is very important to know the difference when you are using photography as a medium of documentation and when you are using photography as a medium of fine art this is a picture uh, here the lower edges were darkened uh, intentionally to make your eye go inside the picture in reality it was this, those portions were not dark enough but to make it more beautifully it was meant to be dark again these picture by the legendary photographers uh, on the left hand side uh, by a legendary late mr ben hussein and on the right hand side legendary mr sushant banerjee in actuality in reality we cannot find such type of the pictures here on the uh, mr ben hussein's picture hands are looking much bigger than the body because those hands are uh, were very close to the camera and they are proportion really begin uh, looking bigger in actuality it was not but it was done intentionally to make this picture more striking and more beautiful and on the right hand side picture this is the montage technique three negatives were used to make this composite picture in reality reality we cannot find such situation but when we are using photography as a medium of fine art for our creative expression any change under the world we may do it another picture this is uh, solarization uh, photographically it was done so when we are using photography as a medium of fine art the picture architectural photography imagination and expertise not only can improve the visual strength of architectural photography but can also the stories that they can tell going beyond the individual images in order to communicate buildings relationship with their context space and time friends this is the bodh gaya temple a uh, buddhist temple and here we can in the foreground we can see some monks how they used to enter into uh, uh, the this uh, bodh this temple shashtang danwat karke uh, ye ये जो बुद्धिस्ट मॉन्स हैं ये एंटर करते हैं सो दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ एक्टिविटी इज गोइंग वेरी वेल द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ द बुद्धिस्ट मॉन्ग व्हेन दे यूज्ड टू एंटर इन इन इनटू द बुद्धिस्ट टेंपल सो सच टाइप ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स सच सच टाइप ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज मे ऑलवेज हेल्प इन आर्किटेक्चर फोटोग्राफी दिस इज द रानी की वाव अ वेरी फेमस uh this is the world heritage site at patan gujarat and uh, with this uh, architectural structures you may see this young couple going up and uh, probably 
their mother or uh, some old lady looking at them. So such type of the human elements uh, may help in architecture. <laughs> सबको म्यूट कर दो ना सबको म्यूट कर दो यू ऑल मस्ट बी नोइंग एंड ब्राइन माई फ्रेंड Banaras is the place which is a paradise for photographers. This mm-hmm. is uh, the oldest living city of, of the world, and this is one of the ghats. And a uh, uh, lot of architectural structures you find in this picture. And the picture, this is the Mahabalipuram rock temples uh, near Chennai uh, at the seashore, Mahabalipuram, and here uh, the. the dog is sitting like this uh, the dog is guarding this uh, the uh, the heritage site so such type of the interesting elements uh, uh, if we are we may be able to add it may increase the beauty of our architectural images uh, the principle of uh, architectural is the use of the perspective control this is very important with an emphasis on the vertical lines that are non converging or you can say the 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 parallel that is very important this is achieved by positioning the focal plane of the camera so that it is perpendicular at the right angle or 90 degree angle to the ground this is very important when the focal plane of the camera is not perpendicular to the ground we may have some distortion which we may see in this picture this is uh, these uh, uh, distortions may be can be eliminated by using the view camera or the monorail camera the highly technical camera this monorail or view camera is having shift swing and tilt of the lens and the back by these movements of the lens and the back we can control tremendous thing in our architectural photography uh, there is no time to explain these movements how these movements can work but uh, this view camera is the more appropriate camera for the architectural photography and in this modern era we can also do uh, control these things by the post processing while working in the software friends uh, if we, uh, there are two types of the distortions are there optical and perspective both result in some kind of deformation of images some highly and others very noticeably perspective distortion is caused by the position of the camera relative to the subject or by the position of the subject within the image frame optical distortion is caused by the optical design of lenses and is therefore often called lens distortion also these are uh, the different distortions on the left hand side there is no distortion vertical and horizontal lines looking as it is in it is called the parallel distortion when vertical and horizontal like lines will bend inwards there is another distortion which is called the pin cushion distortion here the vertical and the horizontal lines will bend outside you can by these diagrams it may be clear to you and here the dotted line is the original object you can say in pin cushion it will converge inside and in barrel distortion it will extend outside so these are the distortion we may uh, encounter uh, while doing the architectural photography this is the picture of uh, the qutub minar and uh, of course uh, when we go upwards the size of the qutub minar decreases because in actuality it is and secondly it is because of the perspective distortion why it is looking like this when we are taking picture of the high rise buildings or monument uh, the position of the camera we we used to tilt our camera to cover whole of the uh, high rise building or monument and when we are tilting our camera uh, you 
you can see here in this uh, uh, diagram this surface of the building is nearer and this surface of the building is on the farther side and it is a, a common principle the thing which is closer to the camera it will look bigger and which is at the farthest it will look little smaller and the result will be like this at the top it will convert the vertical lines will converge like this this is called the perspective distortion it it happens when you, we used to take photograph of the high rise buildings in photography perspective distortion is a transformation of an object and its surroundings area that differs significantly from what the object would look like with a normal focal length due to the relative scale of nearby and distance features here you can see in the smaller picture having the perspective distortion and in the bigger picture the perspective distortion was removed again on the left hand side picture it is having the perspective distortion and on the right hand side the perspective distortion was removed and all the verticals are parallel you can see over here and this is you can see uh, first image is having the perspective distortion the second one perspective distortion were removed in all these examples and then uh, this optical distortion it is caused by the lens this lady's portraiture the first figure it was taken by the wide angle lens 24 mm wide angle lens and when we are using the wide angle lens we should move our camera closer to the lady's face and when we have moved with the wide angle lens moved closer to the human face uh, the nose will be closest and in our picture in the photographic image it will look bigger and our forehead uh, will be these distortion may be caught by the lens distortion and as we move on the as it is said uh, for the portraiture the focal length for 35 mm camera is most appropriate is 85 uh, so here in while using the 85 mm we are not having any optical distortion but when we are using the short focal or wide angle lenses are moving uh, close to our uh, human figure we may have optical distortion like this another example of the optical distortion the it will curve at the top these vertical lines will curve like this this is the optical distortion and another example good example of optical distortion this hand and the banana was very close to the camera lens and it is looking bigger than the uh, the other parts of this uh, human body human figure so we should always take care of these perspective and the optical distortion while make doing the architectural photography and for doing i, I told you this the view camera uh, is most appropriate for uh, the architectural photography where we are having the shift tilt and swing movement of the lens and the back we can do uh, tremendous control uh, uh, it it will it will take another hours if we if, if i go uh, to uh, describe the working of the view camera or the monorail camera uh, this is a different topic altogether but we should always uh, realize that we should always know that the view camera the mono monorail cameras are the most appropriate type of the camera for architectural photography and these these are parts of the view camera uh, we may not go in the detail of that uh, simply stated the lens in which a tilt shift lens is a lens in which the optics can be tilted or shifted in relation to the uh, image sensor in our modern day uh, dslrs digital uh, single lens reflex camera uh, we may have this uh, uh, shift and tilt lens but this is the very expensive lens uh, tilt and shift lenses also rotate to allow the lens to tilt and or shift in a wide range of directions tilt and shift lenses do not have featured the autofocus uh, property 
the tilt feature of the tilt shift lens makes advantage of describes of the situation where the lens plane is no longer parallel to the image plane or the image sensor so by this shift and tilt lens we can control this perspective distortion in our uh, modern day uh, dslr cameras and these this is the tilt and shift lens and how it may work this is another entirely a different topic it may takes much time so i am skip, skip, skipping that uh invest in appropriate photography equipment yes one one should have the appropriate photographic equipment for that wide angle we, we readily use the wide angle lens while doing the architectural photography tri tri tripod is very much recommended while doing the architectural photography and using of the polarizing filter may help you a lot and in this modern time drones are also being used for the architectural photography for giving you the aerial perspective friends and some of the architectural photography i am sharing with you friends this is there is a university uh, called the integral university in lucknow and they used to call me uh, as a examiner when i first visited i i i experience it has got a uh, my uh, interest subject matter over there and from there on whenever i go there i go with the camera and after completing my official work i visit the campus and explore it and some of the images of the singular university which comes under the category of architectural photography i am sharing with you friends this picture i have already uh, shared with you and this is this is my one of my favorite picture very simple uh, very interesting pattern it is showing again a very common situation but it 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 may be uh, a very interesting architectural picture simplicity is ultimate sophistication said by leonardo vinci yes it is very true simplicity is ultimate sophistication very simple picture very lesser elements in this modern time we term at the minimalization uh, arch and the desert cooler i removed a stand of the desert cooler because i felt it it is working as a disturbing element using the software very few elements in this picture so i always think when one is able to make a picture with very less elements the beauty of that picture may be of very high level another again very simple picture but visually uh, it it may you may consider it very rich this is the famous bhool bhulaiya of lucknow a uh, architecture of village here uh, a typical mud house from the rajasthan it is showing the typical village mud architecture and this uh, log dry log of the wood is pur purposely uh, uh, framed in, in my picture it is for i am uh, uh, just uh, dreaming sort of thing that a beautiful lady is lying in the beach uh, the formation of this uh, wooden log is like this so uh, uh, it said very rightly said that beauty lies in the eyes of beholder so it all depends upon your Im imagination and visualization friends another picture from uh, a village showing a typical uh, formation of the huts of village house for a special effect i in the very beginning i said this architectural photography is a very technical subject i tried to make it more interesting with taking the liberty of breaking the rules and for special effects some addition or subtractions were made uh, i'll be sharing those images use of the software filters unusual angles and innovative uh, thoughts and imaginations this is the picture from the jantar mantra uh, in this this uh, Uh, the the color of this uh, uh, monument was uh, reddish or terracotta 
I make it uh, converted into the monochrome except the center place. So here I am taking a, a liberty to, uh, in the architectural photography, using the medium of photography for my creative expression as the medium of fine art. So here, when we, I am using uh, photography as a medium of fine art for my creative expression, while of course doing architectural photography, I can make changes, friends. So such type of images. Again, this is uh, the Jantar Mantar. Uh, again, I did the same thing and I added a granule texture also to make it more attractive. Another picture, this is the outer fountain of the Indra Gandhi National Center of Art at New Delhi. And in the foreground and in the background in this concrete structure, I added a texture using the software. So we can always take liberty in the architectural photography also. And this is a good example of that. Another picture. Here I changed this curved stair. stair uh, I changed the color of this to the blue because uh, I thought in a way that by changing the color, uh, the beauty may be enhanced. Another picture of uh, the Jantar Mantar. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is showing this visualist, uh, maybe representation of oozing out of the energy, uh, energy. Here again, a texture was used by the software. Uh, simple subject, stairs and uh, some granule texture is added. Patterns, geometrical patterns, leading lines, diagonals and grids are all rife within the urban environments and can make for attractive comp compositional aids to add interest in the architectural photography. What is more, the vast majority of buildings incorporate symmetrical elements within their structures and these can be used to strengthen the composition. I will go a little fast because uh, this presentation is for about one and a half hour. So I should finish it within the, this period. A very interesting uh, a portion of the building. A light was falling in a very interesting way. The shadows and highlighted areas are pictured like this. Make something uncommon of common object. Unique angle. Playing with perspective is not only an entertaining things to do, it can also very, very, very rewarding. Taking time to find a different angle from which the photograph can expose or overlooked for an obstruction of a building detail that may give rise to another level of beauty and appreciation for its form. This is a part of the swimming pool. Very interesting this. Uh, triangle diagonal photograph. Another picture. It is when whenever I see this picture, it is it, it looking like a tremendous three-dimensional effect. I don't know whether you you may realize it or not, but whenever I, I see this image, a uh, close-up of the swimming pool, uh, a tremendous 3D uh, impression. I see. And the picture uh, from a swimming pool. This is another swimming pool, which having some carved stony structure at the top and some repetition of forms in the form of reflection of the palm tree. Exterior of the restaurant at Universal Studios. Again, Mukesh ji, you can uh, recollect this picture yes, from yes, with, uh, yes. South Africa. This red is the roof of the bus in which we traveled. And at the back, the concrete structure of the hotel where we stayed. So incorporating different elements in our architectural photography in a different way, uh, what I tried for. And the picture, it's the uh, outer of the warehouse. A, a def, definite and different geometrical forms are there. A circle is there, a rectangular, uh, the square is there, a triangle is there, 
all sort of thing is there are there good lighting should be a priority always you know in photography lighting is the main thing how we are utilizing and using the light uh, this is this is uh, the simple principle so lighting uh, uh, how we should use the light there are a lot of uh, uh, text on that i i i won't go that uh, side light is more appropriate for architectural photography and this is the very good example of that this is the dakshineshwar famous dakshineshwar temple uh, kolkata light direction is very 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 important side front lighting here the side front lighting was there and due to that lighting the texture of the building the building can be seen beautifully another example of that side front photo sample this picture a beautiful lighting this is the part of the residency a monument of uh, my favorite place to visit at my hometown lucknow light plays very important role and this may be a example of that again the same thing this is a modern structure this is the ambedkar udyan call it this structure was made by our former chief minister mayawati uh, shrimati uh, uh, madam mayawati and here again the direction of light was that that it is revealing the, revealing the texture of this, this these red sand stone pieces and at the same times it is having the very interesting shadows this is the close up of a uh, monument of the building very interesting architectural uh, image again a portion of a church again light is playing very important role over here this is the lamp post showing the uh, the typical french architecture or the windows and the lamp also is a is is a example of the uh, french beauty again light plays very important role this is uh, the exterior uh, of the jammu lalit kala kendra and when i was there to attend a camp this picture this image architectural image was made over there this is this picture was taken at chandigarh very interesting architectural representation of a modern brick building it was made with the mobile i am using mobile these days very much and i loving using it another picture this is again the banaras ghat these uh, diagonal what lines uh, leading lines very interesting in this architectural picture of a ghat uh explore although shooting with the wide angle lens it usually the smart it's the smartest thing to do when it comes to the architectural photography friends building contains hundreds of the intricate little details that are lost when an entire figure or a room is shot in a one frame exploring detail go close up could reveal something new about the building's history or a section of the example uh, this is the example of uh, the khajurao temple in the longer shot we cannot uh, portray the beautiful sculptures of this temple so a close up shots are always necessary in architectural photography to reveal its full beauty so this is the good example using this uh, temple khajurao temple and uh, on the right hand side the close up of the sculpture and you can see how beautiful this stone sculpture is uh, i am showing some of the images i took three i am taking three case studies first is the residency friends this is residency it's it's a photographer's paradise whenever you visit lucknow visit residency for sure so these are the image some architectural studies of residency shadows always play very important role light 
making third dimension that is depth repetition of forms in architectural photography again repetition of forms residency at its best symmetry symmetry also plays very interesting role in architectural photography light light is very important try to reduce all raw visual material into basic forms lines shapes patterns and colors and then i used to play around with these elements till i finally composed the image for me it is important that these images should be able to stimulate the viewer's mind and thoughts images from residency architectural images from residency research the building we we should always uh, pre research the monument or building we are going to take photograph uh, this is very very important another uh, very interesting from the walls of magnificent residency heart within heart dil ke andar dil taakh pe rakha hai mera dil ye poetry ki lines maine hi banayi hai these these lines were created by me while while seeing this uh visual from the residency it looks like this brick structure is floating in the air the light the direction of the light and shadow was such that it impression is like this very interesting for me it is very interesting again very simple picture but whenever i see this visual i always feel the tremendous sort of energy is coming out oozing out from this visual revisit the site multiple time this is very important returning to the same place again and again will reveal new layers to the architecture perhaps the degeneration of the building over the period of time opens new and unique possibilities but as the real interesting aspect of the building are only exposed over time deterioration of the building or monument it create new sort of the be uh, beauty in it and while visiting the residency i experienced it myself very interesting uh, uh, study of the from the walls of residency and the due to the variety of weather condition and time of the day this is very important residency when i visited in the rainy season or after the rains it may look like this uh, 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 this algal growth uh, it is it is giving the new dimension to this monument just a pinch of green at the top of this brick structure at residency when you are visiting it in rainy season or after immediately after the rains now the second case i'll be taking i'll be showing some of the architectural images of the jantar mantar friends geometrical patterns leading lines diagonals and grid are all rife within the urban environment and can make for attractive compositional aids add interest in architectural photography jantar mantar at the top you may see the modern structure and at the below this is the ancient structure of jantar mantar so how these modern and the ancient uh, 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 concrete or brick structures are making relation with each other this is very important to incorporate such such elements or make such relationship jantar mantar new delhi when you go close to the object it may reveal something else
Yes, I have already said for special effects, additions, subtractions, use of software, unusual angles, innovations. These all things were done in these uh, architectural images. Uh, text shed was introduced by the software. Another picture, again, a texture was introduced from Jantar Mantar. So the second, uh, uh, this, that is a Jantar Mantar is a Banaras also, a small Jantar Mantar, few images I'm sharing with you. Yes, I took some liberty to, to uh, add some texture in these images of Jantar Mantar of Banaras. Very interesting, very interesting. And now, friends, I am taking the Lotus Temple, the third uh, uh, example for my ar architectural images. It is having the beautiful Lotus formation. That's why it is called the Lotus Temple. It's the Baha'i Temple. And uh, the very uh, interesting skyline, the the white clouds, uh, a faint white clouds is adding or going very well to this white marble structure of Lotus Temple. When we close to any structure, patterns, the vast majority of buildings incorporate symmetrical elements within their structure. And these can be used to strength of your composition. When we go close, very integral for uh, these things are also a, a dimension of uh, the temple. But here, human figures are in the form of color only, not as the human body. A front side light was there. Another uh, very interesting study, architectural study of Lotus Temple, having very interesting shadow of the railing in the foreground. And friends, I would like to share with you the National Award of Photography by Government of India. I got on the portfolio of 10 images of Jantar Mantar only. This is one of my favorite image. And this image is one of the example when one is able to make a visual with a lesser elements, it may look more beautiful. Uh, friends, we were knowing about the montage technique. It was introduced by Oscar Goodsafe's Lord Rogelander in 1857. And this picture, the two ways of the light, life, uh, 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 Roger Lender uh, made it in 1857 uh, with the help of more than 30 negatives. It is the composite image where 30 negatives were used. This is the montage technique introduced by Roger Lender. I also did some montage experimentation with the Lotus Temple images, but my montage technique is somewhat different. Uh, I'll be sharing with you. And uh, again, this is the montage picture. Uh, again, I am showing by Mr. Legendary Photographer Sushant Banerjee. Three negatives were used. And this is by Mr. Benu Sen. Again, the montage technique. Uh, these are the special effects, friends, always. So, uh, I did some experimentation with the montage technique of my own with the Lotus Temple images. And I'll be sharing with you. This is uh, my experimental work where I made a, a mirror image reverse it and join together. And then I int introduce a canvas texture. Again, this is the picture as it is, I like it. But then I did some experimentation and come up this picture with some montage technique. And again, I would like to share this picture was favorite of uh, legendary photographer Beluda. Another picture, uh, the mirror image was made reverse it and join together. The same technique, a texture screen or the canvas screen was added. Another picture of the Lotus Temple made in the same way. Uh, 
this picture of uh, this uh, uh, lotus temple i liked as it is station and come up with this image i further did some experimentation and come up with this image so experimentation is very very important and very rightly said by albert einstein imagination is better than knowledge we should always apply our imagination while while making our photographic images here we are talking about the architectural images friends uh this is uh, my montage technique uh, the principal image on the left hand side i made a mirror image reverse it and join together this left hand side original image upside i made it upside down make a mirror image reverse it and join together and these four images join together i came up with this image and on the same way this image uh, was made and uh, when we are using photography for our creative expression nothing to do with the reality we can do anything again this montage ex experiment experimental technique with uh, lotus temple images of my own and i would also like to share with me friends in a international contest by hazelbert camera uh, my portfolio of 10 images got me the uh, honorary mention of uh, these uh, experimental uh, images of lotus temple experimentation is the need of the art i i i feel like this this is the close up of jantar mantar i did some experimentation and made this image and here again original image is at the top i make a mirror image reverse it and join join together again i did the same thing and i think with the this experimental image is more uh, interesting than the original one so oh, we should always try to do some experimentation while using the medium of photography i try to look for the unseen in the obvious it is what i strive to highlight i feel around us there are innumerable objects waiting to be discovered and explored my quest is to discover and explore them a photographer need to be a visualizer thinker and above all a dreamer two quotes from legendary photographers don't shoot what it looks like shoot what it feels like gary vinogrand said photography is not about things photographed it is about how that things look photographed very important very very important we should learn the phenomena of seeing things beyond the obvious should learn to see the unseen make visible what others may not have seen give yourself time to see architecture from alternate angle at different times of the day and in different weather and study it long enough invest in time it can be worth it friends practice explore and most of above all enjoy it enjoy doing it thank you so very very much friends for uh, i really enjoyed sharing my thoughts and images uh, of architectural photography i i i hope you like it thank you so very much again mukesh ji i will stop sharing my screen right yes sir oh hats off to you sir my pleasure always my pleasure always i enjoyed your experimentation with experimentation visualization bahut badhiya sir maza aa gaya this full images thank you so thank you sir. we have used the direct light to uh, make Three D effect. It's really wonderful, sir. And again, the your experiment with montage of lotus temple is something beyond imagination. A simple I, can be I, made. I feel very feel happy. Yes, sir. Feel happy to know this because when you experiment, uh, uh, it it all depends whether uh, the other the other other friends. or other people like it or not uh, they may like it they may not like it so i feel happy that you like my experimental work 
so the way you have used uh, uh, this uh, simple a uh, simple frame to a montage frame giving some different meaning and different uh, feeling all, 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 all together it's a really a remarkable and uh, you you have <coughs> shown the use of uh, direction of light in your residency images sir that is fantastic fantastic sir and uh, this even this simple janta uh, of banaras the way you have seen uh, i don't think uh, even i i have not seen in the same fashion heads of it sir uh, i think uh, it take 5 minutes time for question and answer because the topic was so interesting people may like to few questions so now mukesh ji mukesh ji can i use your medium to talk to mr will sir sir please adin ji sir, welcome I, i am so very happy to see your montage images it doesn't mean that your original architectural images they are also equally good very uh, revealing very enlightening but i found your montage images much more beautiful thank you thank you very much adhi i am getting this comments from the master of montage mr adit agrawal so no, it's sir. it's a very the comment for me thank you sir, so very much sir i am still a student of photography and also of montage but i and saw the, your montage images and they are very enchanting thank you sir thank you so very much thank you it's open for question answers anybody can ask any questions we can spend few minutes Brian, do you want? Uh, yeah, I, well, I, I really want to thank uh, Anil. Uh, very inspiring. Um, you, you you come up with so many imaginative uh, ways of taking a photograph, and I suppose that's uh, probably the most important to um, to instill some of that in in uh, in in us, make us uh, think. um i like your mantra that you you uh you take your images because you're happy to take them they give you pleasure and that's i think a, uh that's a, a lot of photographers need to learn that and uh, enjoy photography more so uh, thank you very much for sharing all your images thank you my friend really for enjoyed it compliments and kind words thank you so very much okay uh, uh yeah. Uh, during our forthcoming webinars we are going to uh, see the creative works by aditi agrawal sir very shortly and then shushant bhaiya both are masters like uh, for creative work with montage and we will be fortunate enough to uh, watch and view those uh, uh, amazing works by uh, such kind of works anybody for any question or uh, before thanksgiving uh, i want to announce you something by sharing one image from my this is the use of i got the friends in the mukesh can you I have muted all. Then I am sharing my screen. Yeah, uh, I would like to share with all my friends that just today at 5:30 we got the grant 
of auspicious dealer ff uh, for our uh, upcoming photo webinar on 7th of november uh, by agatha n gunanta uh, who is the vice president of psa so that's all friends any suggestion if you want to give please give feel free to give uh, because that can be taken care of in the future now i'll request uh, sri sk mitra to give vote of thanks good evening everybody we just saw the photo presentation of uh, uh, sri anil lisal singh sir our beloved anil lisal singh sir and the gender was architectural photography uh, the canvas that was shown to us or the journey that was taken from vijayanagar to hyderabad london again to rajasthan and to so many other places today is ashtami mahashtami that we say so today mother is in her maximum shakti we worship mother goddess durga for shakti and today is the eighth day of puja and we say that it is the day when mother is at her maximum power so this is i think the uh, most beautiful day for such a powerful presentation sir really thankful to you and at the same time i would like to present i would like to say that i am just recovering from covid and so i could not visit the puja pandals this year since i am still having a lot of weakness but i think after seeing your show that mother has sent her prasad in the form of your webinar my respect to you great 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 i also like to thank brian hooper sir from ireland tanoj singh sir from australia anil hadia sir adit agarwal sir my friend ahmed rasel from bangladesh raj misri sir and all others who have made their presence felt in this webinar your presence sir takes our webinar to a greater height really thankful to you all i also thank mukesh sivasa sir for arranging such a beautiful webinar on mars to me thank you once again thanks thanks everybody so now should we close now guest must give permission sir anil sir permit kijiye sir okay sir okay tanoj bye good night thank you